Hello and welcome to this week's Indie Sunday, where we're going to be playing Tales from Off Peak City, the demo to be precise. And I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, and I feel like I might regret it, but off we go. Well, you woke up just in time. But before we go any further, I need to know one thing. What's your name, anyway? Mm -hmm. You won't find this place on any maps, Calamity. But in time, you'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Yam Street like few others do. Alright, this is definitely the game I'm going to get motion sick from. So we'll see how long I'll be playing this. But it looks quite nice. Looks like we're coming up to a road. I'll have many assignments for you, Calamity. And for this first one, I require you to steal a valuable musical instrument. You seem like sketchy people. It's an old saxophone, the prized possession of Caetano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant on the corner up ahead. Caetano needs an assistant, so I thought, hey, here's the perfect opportunity to prove your worth to us, Calamity. That their lesser of recommendation will make Caetano think you're overqualified to work at his restaurant. Caetano was an incredible sax player in his day, world class. He even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. But nowadays Caetano just holds up in his pizza shop making his pies all day. There are rumors, Calamity. Something's not right about Caetano. Something's not right about him. You say something, Pops? Anyway, here's a picture of the sax for reference. Do whatever it takes to get it. At the very least, working for Katano will give you an inside angle on his operation. And once you retrieve the sax, we'll find you. We need the money and that sax is worth a small fortune in this market. Besides, Pops' medical bills ain't gonna pay themselves, eh? And here's some cash. You'll probably want to buy a few things while you're here. And one last thing. Good luck, we believe in you. Okay. Ah, we move pretty slowly, and there's some money lying on the ground. Two dollars. Okay. Can I run somehow? No, and I'm... Oh, I can go here. Number 25. Why is the door so massive? What about this door? I can't enter that either. Stoop sale. Hey. What are you people doing here? <laughs> hmm? Brain sonatas. Peter Nord and Caetano Grosso. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Not a problem. Is there a car? No. Well, obviously there's cars, I was going to say, is there a car that's driving here? A stoop sale. I could buy a bone xylophone. Well, I can't because it costs $500. An old camera is only 15 And the eyeball of the space line, 315 A hat is 45 Alright, we'll continue for now. This reminds me of, um, what, what was it called? You know what I mean, right? Those who've seen it, at least. Okay, we'll get away from you, quickly. Uh, what was it called? God, I really don't remember. Oh, there's something I can pick up. A tin of truth peppers. Add it to my pizza station. Alright, but it doesn't look like there's a restaurant here. Uh, what exactly are you people doing here? It says no swimming here. Well, yeah, technically it says no jumping in here. You can actually swim. Fair enough. What are you guys doing here? What is that haircut? Ah, uh, some some good things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
out. <laughs> could you could you maybe tell me where Kurtanos is? Building nine. What's the problem with building nine? All right. Got Sverker's film. Well, I, there was an old camera down there, so maybe I could actually watch that film. Oh. Huh. You enter this. What is that? Oh, it's just a one. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Yeah, this room is not weird at all. Oh god, I'm already motion sick. Locked? Okay. That makes sense. Everything is locked in here. And some very red lighting. But also locked. No, everything locked. Can I jump down? Yes, I can. Ah, there's a little board. I can not jump down there. All right, let's leave this place. Ah, uh, there's some cats over there. Okay. And a tin of blue sardines. All right. Is this the place I'm supposed to go to? Sounds like it. Oh. What is this place? Waiting for someone? New recruits. Patience, Eric. Patience. Nerf is this. There's some sweets. I'm gonna knock on the door. Locked. Locked. Everything's locked. Lab coats must be worn. Sweet four. I mean, these are going to be locked as well, right? But gotta check. Yes, of course they are. No? What is that? Oh, what have we here? Olives! Pizza station is getting fuller and fuller. Oh, there's a massive roulette wheel. Why? Why not? Imagine that's how it went when they designed the game. There's another film. Doom film. Not having as much luck fishing anymore. I was pawn shop back in the nine. Fishing requires a clear mind, yeah. 
hear noises in the alley? I hear noises everywhere. <laughs> Could just be a fish. No, nope, they don't want to find out. I'll take a tin of warm gummies. Not sure you'd really want to put that on pizza, but you really do. They can't go down to the subway. Oh, seriously, though, where's the restaurant supposed to be? Here? Ah. That looks like it. Uh, actually, get me back over here to the stoop sale, though. I want to buy the camera after all. Found two pieces of film already. Give me that. Press tab to open your inventory and select the camera. Uh, okay. Great handshake, easy disposition, punctual, no known vices, curious team player, even handed, open minded, baseline cooking ability. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Sure. I can delete that. This one I'll keep. Uh, what about a standard issue roll from Kentox Photography? Wait. Uh, the, the custom roll from Tomb Geographic Field Research Division. Is that any different? Doesn't feel different. And we're all from Sverkus surveillance. Okay, you don't do anything. All right, let's get in here. Oops. Uh, there we go. Hi. Press tab to open your inventory and select the appropriate item. Ah, uh, hi. Got a recommendation letter. To whom it may concern. Blah, blah, consummate professional, easy disposition. Strong handshake, willing to work late, whatever, whatever. This reads like any old boilerplate letter. Nice paper texture, though. I'm perfect for everything. Okay. I'll get the jar of sauce from the basement. Is that the basement? No. Apparently not. Is that the basement? Yes. Down here, jar of sauce. Yeah, that's there. Is there something else? Ah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't look like I can just go in there and get a habit. Oh, that's locked as well. Oh, I'll take the sauce and go up there, but at least we know where it is now. Ah, uh, hello there. I got your sauce. Mm-hmm. Pour the sauce into the sauce vat by the pizza, pizza making station to my right. Uh, here? Oh. That's not really. Oh, it is to his right, never mind. Your next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. I have thought we we're making pizza. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. Uh huh. Study the form, embrace the formation. No one the counter is calling your name. Is it? Oh, there it is. Roll some dough. 
Yep. Lucas Belmont's orders. Study the form, embrace the formation. Sprinkle ingredients till you're satisfied, then press and hold the green button for one second. Uh, what do I like on a pizza? Got some olives, we've got some mushrooms, pepperoni, basil, fresh mozzarella, warm gummies, truth peppers, and blue sardines. I'm just gonna make a nice pizza. Put some sauce on it. Okay, once we've got the sauce, some salami. There we go. Put some mushrooms on there too. Uh, what was that? Olives? Hell no. Basil? I'll put some cheese on first. And put some basil on it. Um, and then some peppers. There you go. Beautiful pizza. Couldn't be better. Just look at that pizza go. From. Pretty sure that's solid stone down there. Okay. What now, master? Oh. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'll, I'd eat that. I believe it's time for your first delivery. 47 Yam Street, top floor. Of Professor Lucas Belmont, a real steady. He prefers his pizza for, pizza for breakfast, and it looks like you made him a proper breakfast pie. And considering you put a lot of mushrooms on there, he's sure to tip you real good. If you're ever unsure where you're delivering the pizza to, the pizza box itself will tell you. Just don't dawdle, big day ahead. Oh, and what? Try not to stay too long at the apartment. Why? There are certain things Lucas probably doesn't want you to see. Good luck. Uh, okay. Gonna stay at the apartment. Uh, Yam Street. Where's 47? Uh, that is 41. So that should be 43, 5, 7, the red building. Yep. Is that the building we were in earlier? Probably. Yes, it is. Top floor, so fourth uh, room. One more. Four. Uh, hello. Are you in here? Who's that? Oops. Rotate. What is that? Put it down. Okay, whatever that is. That doesn't look much better. Ah. Okay. I didn't see that. Is that the light? Crumbs in orbit, playing the fool. Card games for ten. Ah, the look. It's finally here, Barclay. How much is it? Cartano said you'd be coming with a delivery. Usually he sends that girl Maxine, but her father died. Anyway, Calamity, go ahead and put the pizza down on the coffee table. My students tell me eating pizza for breakfast is bad for me. But who really cares, Barclay? Like, they should talk. Pizza is pizza any time of day, right, little guy? Yeah. Uh, I think the university got me this place, but it's been so long. And I've got to say, this neighborhood has really been through the ringer. 
Dozens of shops come and gone, business owners' dreams dash so many times over. And did you see what they built in front of the old church? A travesty. And yet Caetano's pizza remains the mainstay. Not even great pizza by a wide mile. Pan ingredients, pastry sauce, and not even a gluten-free option. But there's something about it. It's comfortable. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel a lot of things. Frankly, Clamity, I can't get enough of it. Okay. Have the pizza. At last, my morning meal. Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, probably. On certain days, pizza needs a sauce bath. Clearly, this is one of those days, Calamity. You understand. This is exactly the amount of pepperoni I was dreaming about before you showed up. Literally, this presentation was in my dream. I feel clairvoyant, Calamity. You're a mushroom master. Carefully placed and immaculately spaced. The cheese on this pie is like a small island in a vast ocean of crust. I cling to this little cheese island, Calamity, an oasis of dairy divinity. With all those peppers on that pie, I might take one bite and faint. But I'm willing to take that risk. Basil on pizza unifies the unruly competition of flavor under one banner. The banner of a distinctive pizza maker, like you or Caetano. I love it, Calamity. For your hard work, I want to give you something. Not a bad pie, Calamity. Not bad at all. And as for this pizza here. Here, pizza, I want you to meet my mouth. All right, it met his mouth. Microtonal ecstasy. Uh, what is that? Uh, okay, just a dice. A die. Oh, it's locked. Piano. Can't interact with it. A grand piano and a small piano. Uh, what have you got here? Uh... What exactly is this? Aid of offense. Bicycle or skateboard failed to stop at red light. Okay. It's a ticket, essentially. Traffic violations bureau hearing offices. Alright. The society, a cultural analysis. I'll leave that in there. And freedom in the cave. Okay. A tin of chocolate chips. We'll take it. There's another one of these. Okay. I'm not questioning it. It's potentially an egg. And some concoctions. Um, um, do you not? Ah, a bedroom key. Uh, I don't know why I can't leave your house. I don't like that you locked me in here. But I guess we're going to your bedroom. What is this? Ah. The end of the demo. All right, that's a bit earlier than I expected. I've, okay, sure though. All right. Um, interesting game. I'd never played a full version for it just because even just the demo has got me motion sick already, pretty badly. Like if it had gone on for ten more minutes, I probably would have uh, ended it there anyway. But certainly weird, and I think this should give you kind of an impression already on what it's going to be like. And if it would be something that interests you. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.